everybody, it's John, and I wanted to make a quick video covering some of the features in Alexa for the Fire tablets. Now, I've got two different generation of Fire tablets here. If you don't know, the Alexa feature is now available on the Fire 7 generation 4 and up and as well as the Fire 8, the Fire 8.9 HDX and the Fire 10 and I think all of those need to be at least from 2014 I believe that's the year. This is a fifth generation Fire tablet and this is a seventh generation Fire tablet. They don't look very different from each other. The fifth generation has a, has a little bit thicker bezel the housing, the casing, you can see that the, the camera is inset a little bit more than on this version. And it's also, uh, it's a little bit thicker, very, not very noticeable. And you can see that the rocker buttons for the volume and the headphone jack location are switched from the fifth and the seventh generation fire tablets now you might be asking yourself well okay uh, how do i know if my, what, what generation my tablet is well here's what you do you unlock your tablet and what you want to do is swipe down from the top go into settings here and then go to device options and it will tell you exactly which generation that you have so i have the seventh generation fire 7 tablet and the other thing you want to make sure is that Alexa is actually enabled on your device. So again, you swipe down, you select your settings here, and you look for Alexa and make sure Alexa is enabled. Now, if you have the Fire 10 tablet, you'll have another option there for having voice activation enabled, which isn't available on the 7 or the 8. So what are some of the things you can do with Alexa? The first thing you need to know is that you hold down the home button to activate Alexa. So you hold down the button and you ask it a question. What's the weather in the Philippines? Which location was that? I'm best with a specific city in Philippines. Manila. Right now in Manila, Philippines, it's 81 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast has thunderstorms with a low of 76 degrees. And Alexa can do a number of other things. It will play your music. It'll read you books. Alexa, play Taylor Swift. Shuffling songs by Taylor Swift from your library. We're not going to play that because then I'll get a copyright violation. So those are just a few of the features of Alexa. The key to remember is that you need to hold down the home button in order to activate Alexa. My name is John Wilkerson from strugglingforpurpose.com. I hope this video has helped you out. And if it did, hey, give me a like, uh, subscribe, and don't forget to ring my bell to get notified whenever I release any new videos. Thanks.